All right, hello everyone, my name is Enzo and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4. We are playing the Rights of Man expansion as Burgundy. In the last episode, we integrated Brabant, which is why we are looking even more powerful right now. We have increased our army force limit to 41, which I think is pretty amazing. And which means that we are close to the force limit of France, even though they do have more manpower. 56k. We have a maximum of 32, so we are probably due for some upgrades in that department. By the way, Denmark, jeez. What have you been doing here? He's a personal union with Sweden. I think that Denmark will become a very powerful nation in this uh, playthrough. Unless Sweden somehow manages to uh, take over. It currently, it looks like Sweden is uh, is in a bit of a problem. A bit of a problem here. Um, let's see. Lithuania is doing well. Poland, Hungary. What is what is this? It's wasteland, probably. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that was introduced introduced in the last patch, as we saw. We actually gained some ships here, by the way. Cogs, which I think are transports, which I don't really need. So there you go. Um, we didn't get any trade ships, right? No. Light ship, light ship. Protecting trade in the English Channel and Bordeaux. That's cool. So yeah, the um, the peace treaty, the uh, what's it called, the um, truce, right, with France has ended. But the problem is that we still have our gross expansion at thirty three. So I'm not quite sure if we can attack right now. I think we'll wait. Uh, also, France is pretty powerful at the moment, so probably just hold off on that. We are building a spy network in Liège, and we are also improving relations in Holland. Which is uh, pretty important, because that's where we want to go probably next with our integration ideas. But we need 119 able to, in order to be able to do that, so that's going to that's gonna take a long time still. So I'm not sure if we will be able to do that. Um, ah, nice, thank you. So we can go with the artillery combat ability plus 10% and discipline plus 5, which is good. But uh, I think we are going to need to focus on Reiter, military attack level 10 first. So we'll just save up our uh, military points there. How are we doing in the points department anyway? 777. Uh, level 2 dude here. For the missionary strength, right. I think we will actually fire him when we have converted everyone here. Forgot about that. We also took uh, Saints Except Praise, by the way, in the last episode. Morale of armies and navies plus 5%. Uh, resistance to the reformation in vote. Time for some forceful persuasion. Croatia State gains 10 loyalty. 19 religious regiments rise up in vote. Or exempt this area for now. Lose 25 church power. Uh, hmm. Croatia State loses 10 loyalty. Catholic Stronghold. No, I don't really want that. Okay, so we're gonna have to go in there, I think. Where is Vote, actually? Vote is... Uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't know my own country. Vote is actually here. That's cool because... I keep saying cool. Because uh, we are actually standing there already. We we'll actually move you in, in order to defend ourselves. I think we have six months before we have to click here. Let's get another tick and then we'll go for the... Um, no, actually we'll probably... Yeah, just a sec. There you go. Catholic Zealots. You are gonna die pretty soon here. There we go. And thank you. And you will move out again. Do we have a leader? Yeah, we did. Okay. So that's all right, I think. This is the last one, the last uh, province that we need to convert to Protestantism. And I think Protestantism is doing all right. Uh, wave of, of, of Obscuritanism. Knowledge is power, national honors plus two, or ignorance is bliss. Ten prestige. I think we can take the national honors, actually. Don't want to lose prestige. Yeah, we do have some allies in the Protestant department. We do have the English, it seems, but other than that, a lot of countries here, Bohemia and Brandenburg and Silesia, Breslau. Uh, yeah, but I'm not convinced, actually. Friesland, Bremen. Hmm. 
So it might be, if there is going to be uh, one of those league wars where the Cath uh, uh, Catholics fight it out against the Protestants, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen then. We might have some problems. We'll see when we get there. Still speed 4. 41 out of 41. I, I really want to get rid of that level 2 dude though because he's costing us a lot of money here. Actually, we are now making money it seems. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh! The revolt in Holland. Let's move in. I think we are not gonna be on time actually. Let's move you out. Let's get you a leader. Let's help out our junior partners here. Okay, we're get we're going in apparently. I don't think it's gonna be necessary, no. Okay. So let's move back. That's fine. Oh, someone died. Is that the level two dude? No. That's a shame. Uh, diplomatic reputation, improved relations plus twenty percent. Uh he's level two though. But I do think that that is the one who will help us with our aggressive expansion. Is that true? Uh, actually, aggressive expansion minus three a year, so it's ten more years before it's completely gone. That's not that's not too bad, actually. Let's go with our diplomatic reputation, dude, which I think will help with the integration processes that we have. It's gonna be a long time. Okay, white piece. Let's take a look. Is that still minus three a year? Well, it was already, of course, because the dude had already died. We are really going into our treasury, though, which I don't really like. Let's lower army maintenance. Missionary maintenance is painful, but it's doable. So let's go down quite badly there. And then after that, we will get rid of this dude. It's nearly finished. Which means that we will have 100% religious unity. Which is going to be very powerful. Uh, for us. Ah! New military tech. There we go. Let's just get some more pips here. Zwarte Reiter is to Latin Knights. Yes, I see that. And what else do we have? Calvarin is superior to large... Yeah, okay. Uh, no shock. Yeah, I think we'll go with the shock. Right, so religious unity at 100% now. There we go. Uh, which means that we can get rid of the level 2 dude. Bye. And we will get a new one. National tax modifier plus 1%. Uh, plus 10% seems good to me. And yes, we are making money again. Actually, quite a lot all of a sudden. Well, I say a lot, but for us it's quite a lot. It's not amazing. By the way, do we have a bunch of forts here that we don't really need? And by the way, do we also want to mothball those forts? Yes, please. Mothball. That's gonna create quite some money here. Um, huh. So we've got one here. And we have one in Limburg. And in... Anvers as well. We might want to just do a, this one. Don't really care about that one, I think. Destroy the castle. There you go. Okay, so how much money are we making now? Yes. 8.21. That's better. 7.9. Still good. Still good. Uh, Utrecht actually doesn't have any allies. I think probably Austria will be an ally. By the way, we can get a claim on Liège. It's good. You can come home. And we will get a dude in Utrecht, probably. Member of the Empire, though, of course. Yeah. Austria would jump in. I think we can defend against Austria at this point. Uh, but that means that they won't be our ally anymore, if I'm not mistaken. So that's probably not a good idea. Uh, let's take a look at the AI right now, AE. Minus 27. I think we need more time before we can actually start a war against France. Let's merge you up. 
Which is, it's fine, because that gives us the opportunity to actually develop our country just a bit more. And hopefully to start integrating some of our dudes here. Let's actually go with improved relations on Flanders. And I want to focus on Auvergne as well. They are now improved relations plus 14, so I think we might be able to get there at some point. It would be pretty good if we could split France in the next war. Get uh, Rouergue and split them up in two parts. Our empire is not recovering all that quickly, which is a shame. Even though we do have the bonus from our state. 15%. Eh. And the religious term oil, term oil in England. Good for them. No wars going on at the moment, it seems. No more winter. Ooh. No, not much happening at the moment. Ah, we can invest in... Let's see, can we though? Or do we need that? No, we need the Diplo power. We don't have a lot of Diplo power, it seems. Which I think is fair, because we are losing some because of our uh, diplomatic reputation, uh, relation. One each tick. And happiness among the peasantry. Try to improve the situation or lose one stability in return for 10 prestige. Uh, I think we'll do that. Uh, well, it's because if we want to improve our stability, it's going to cost us, I know, 200 admin power. So let's pay the money instead. And save that admin power. The prestige is, is not all that important. We've got a min tech, which we will take. Production efficiency by 5%. Ooh, wait a second. I forgot about the um, spread of colonialism. It's starting to spread towards us. And it's going to be important because we are actually at 19% right now. Penalty. I had not really noticed that, but that's fine. Is this gonna cost us a tech penalty? It's not. I think I don't think it's gonna be for the idea groups. So all right. Ah, France has um, embraced colonialism. So it's probably gonna jump towards us quite quickly, and then we can start embracing it at some point. I had forgotten about that. I have to admit. Um, let's see. Flanders and Holland, yes. Doing very well, I think. Improving relations. Ah, right. We have discovered some stuff there. Clergy political struggle. Um, do not meddle in the affairs of the clergy. Gain 10 influence. Or lose a lot of ducats, lose a lot of uh, prestige. Clergy saying gains loyalty and gains influence. Let's just leave them be. Gain some influence, that's fine. Thirty-two more. Twenty-six more. Not sure if we can get to one hundred and ninety at this moment. Which is what we would need. But we are uh, we do have some penalties that are going down each month. We do have neighboring heretic religion in Holland. And the, um, yeah, the same in Flanders. Oh, you can pick another aspect of faith. It's going quite quickly. Uh, I probably want to go with manpower recovery speed, plus 10%. Sure. And then the next one will be the uh, discipline, probably. Just going all out on our armies in Europe. Which I think is going to be very important for us. Yeah, okay, you can claim whatever you want. Tolerant society in Bavaria. I like the fact that we are growing our country. But we have sort of come to a uh, standstill at the moment. Minus 21. It's going down pretty rapidly, the aggressive expansion. I think in a couple of years we'll be able to actually declare on France again. In fact, let's get our troops in position. 
Oh, actually, it's a void separatist. 1.2 years. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Are you making this all the way up? Where will you spawn in Savoie? I'm guessing yes. And you will go there. I think we will be on time. I'm not sure 1.3 years. Yeah, they will probably spawn, but we'll see. Let's actually unmothball that fort there. Can we do that? Uh, there we go. Not sure if it's any use. There we go. Okay. Yeah, actually, that's that's pretty good because now we can wait a couple of ticks before jumping in. Do it with Holland is done, and it's not going to be enough to start our integration process. Integration is going to cost us triple power as well. That's probably why we are lagging behind in that department. Uh, just one more tick, and then we will jump in. Let's uh, get you together. Being attrition, that's fine. At least we will attack as one block. We've got terrain hills, but we should be able to, yeah, quite easily win that. Split you up. Move out. We've got three cannons there, two cannons there. That's fine. Okay, so that was that. We will drop our new engines again. And there we go. Seems good to me. Flanders. Close, but not enough. Um, really civil disorder. Eradicate the heretics. Ooh. Uh, unhappiness among the artisans. Everyone is unhappy for some reason. Lose 100 and almost 180 ducats. Bourgeoisie loses loyalty. Uh, we'll, we'll pay the ducats so that they will gain loyalty. And also, we will not lose a uh, stability level. Which uh, is a bit costly at the moment to uh, spend on at the moment. Let's see. Let's take a look at our 21% for the constitutions. Can't embrace it just yet. Ugh. Still not spread to us. Pretty annoying. It's sort of fine though, because we can sort of bank up these points and spend them on our idea groups, if that should be necessary. Uh, let's actually get our, uh, that's what I wanted to do, uh, get our do to work. Maybe integrate Auvergne before we start integrating some others. Because the more we integrate, the more slots we have for our diplomatic relations. Let's see, we've got Auvergne, Brittany, Austria. Austria doesn't really like us at the moment. We should probably do something about that. Hey, Austria, how you doing? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Right. There we go. That's better. I like us, like us more already. That's how quickly it goes. Just stopping by from time to time is, is good enough for them. Right. England. Right. Okay. I'm wondering if we could... Well, France does have another 23k stack there. If we jump on this stack, we will probably be fine. I'm not sure. Would Spain jump in at the moment? Oh, we can't check. Or Castile, I mean. That's that's important. If they don't, then it's going to be too probably too difficult for us to attack France. Gross expansion should now be at I don't know fifteen. Yeah, it's it's almost completely gone. So ah, we should basically do something with that. We do still have fifteen troops here. No, actually thirteen, and then four more here. Um. In our classes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So someone died. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joshua is now the king. Yes. Joshua the first good leadership. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Three, four. Yes, okay. Very good. An heir to the throne. Marie is the new heir to the throne. Four, five, three. That's a, a woman. Is that a thing? No, that's cool. Uh, Black News, 
Yeah, okay, our government reports. Rise of a pretender. The disputed succession of Joshua has caused the pretender to raise an army and march for the capital. In Bourbon. Okay. Let's improve our relations. Uh, I mean, our army maintenance. Where is Bourbon? This is, this is not the Bourbon. This is Bourbon. Okay, let's move over there. Does he have a disputed succession? I did not know that. Well, he doesn't anymore, I'm guessing. He is a, a de Bourgogne. And our new heir does have a, a, a good claim here. Marie. Okay. So let's move to uh, to there, to Bourbon. Yes. Marriage. Isabelle is our new consort. Good. I, I like this. Marie is our new uh, new heir. We've got a princess. Very good. Okay, come on. Quickly now. Marie is now bold fighter. Land leader shot plus one. How cool is that? Is he going to fight for us as well in wars? Okay, this is actually a small stack, but I really want to get another tick in of uh, morale. And there we go, and I think that's going to be... Actually, let's move in, and then we'll get them. There we go. Pierre de Roy, who styles himself as Pierre the First of Roy, and lays claim to Burgundian throne. Well, you can try, but... Let's see, 4.2, 4.1. I just want to check our stats here. We've got 100% discipline, which will be higher soon. Okay, but this was easy in any case. Actually... Let's quickly get them. Yes. Split you up. Okay, so that was that. Our throne is safe. And Joshua is now our new king. Hope you are going to be a great king, Joshua. Revelations in uh, Auvergne. Which should be probably make us able to integrate them. And I'm thinking that we will probably be able to integrate Flanders at some point as well. Although I don't like the fact that we have a uh, heretic religion. Minus 40. It's going to make things a bit more difficult for us. But I think we should be able to give them a gift or something. And then start integrating uh, them. Okay. Austria, this is fine. 120. Oh, we've got secrets in our alliance. We must get to the bottom of this. Uh, Castile opinion changed. Yeah. Uh, I want to go with this one. Still adding some size to their spine network is fine. Uh, now we will go to Castile, I think, 130. It's actually quite good already. So probably want to focus on Brittany next. And then one of our dudes that we might want to integrate at some point. Have we still not embraced colonialism? The penalty is quite big right now, you guys. Come on. Almost 25% penalty. Don't like it. How is our our points? Four, six, eight. It's not good. I, I could set a focus, but uh eh. Don't really want to do that. Although our Mintac is lagging behind actually. Our Mintac can actually be dropped now. Ah. Uh, luckily we don't have any influence ideas. Uh any um at Mintech as uh, ideas. <sighs> we do get another idea group in the next level. Okay, let's set the focus. Let's do it. Just to balance things out a bit. Military leader has left us. General Bartholomé de Rochard will no longer serve us. He died in an accident while leading his troops during an exercise. He died too soon without being able to accomplish much of note. Well, yeah. Well, that's a shame. If you die in an exercise, that's... Yeah, that's... Well, that is something of note, I suppose. It's just not in the good way. Let's see if we can start our integration with Auvergne. It's gonna probably pop in uh, two or three months. Pop to 190. And then we'll probably call it a day. Quality wool. Nice. Gain some ducats. Hey, that was strange. Oh, that's because of the percentage increase. Colonialism. Still not being embraced by us. By our country. 
We'll probably just uh, do not take anything at the moment. Uh, we will probably get you home. And actually get you home as well. You will probably go to Brittany. We will annex you for 88. Which will take us... Actually quite a lot. But only one Diplo power a year. So... Uh, a month. That's fine. Okay. It's going to take us until 90... No, 32. So that's uh, 8 years. Eh. Right. That's that done. Improve religion. Brittany, just... Keeping all our friends happy, basically. Not sure if we want to integrate one of the other dudes here. Galra actually doesn't have any friends at the moment. They are still in the uh, HRE, though. That is going to be a problem, because we do need that province and Friesland as well. In order to... Ooh, they like us. Would, would they be interested in vassalization? Member of the Empire, minus 75. It might work at some point. Occupy the Munster. Can we enforce peace? Get you home. Intervene in war. Choose war to intervent in. Uh, enemies, allies, Friesland, Nassau. Take core Munster. Oh, there needs to be a great power on each side. Okay. So, no, that's not a thing. Enforce peace, then. No. Okay. Well, fair enough. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, put in a quick cut here. Um, still going strong, I think. And I think, hopefully, that we might be able to do something. At the moment, everyone will jump in. Castile, Austria, Brittany. So, perhaps in the next episode, because... France only has France, Lucia, and Switzerland as allies, which I think we should be able to take quite easily. So that should be a good war for us to take. Uh, Castile is not in war. Yeah, prob probably just want to focus on France for now. Um, so that's probably what we're going to do in the next episode. We'll see. In any case, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.